In this video, we will review transvenous pacing using our new transvenous pacing kit, which contains the essential elements for transvenous pacer placement with the exception of sterile gloves. Placement of the transvenous pacer introducer is performed either in the right internal jugular vein or the left subclavian vein. For IJ placement, prepare the right neck with chlorhexidine and apply the full body drape with the exposure area over the right neck. Place the probe cover on the linear probe and keep this on the sterile field. Once the IJ is identified with ultrasound, use the included needles to draw up the included 1% lidocaine and infiltrate the intended track. While local anesthesia is being achieved, prepare the sheath and pacing materials. The dilator and the six French sheath come prepackaged in opposition. Withdraw the dilator and insert it into the hemostatic hub of the introducer until you feel a subtle click. Identify the five French pacing wire and the included pacing pins. Insert the pacing pins into their ports until they are snug. Place the pacing catheter through the cath guard, also known as the swandum. The circular lock should be placed closest to the pins and cinched down. Test the balloon using the included syringe with 0.75 milliliters of air. Leave the balloon deflated. Using standard Seldinger technique, place the sheath, advancing the sheath and the dilator as a single unit over the wire until the sheath is hubbed. Stop immediately if there is resistance. Withdraw the wire and the dilator as a single unit from the sheath. Once all that remains is the sheath, aspirate blood to confirm placement. Flush the lumen with the included sterile flush connected to an IV cap. Hand your assistant the end of the pacing wire to be connected to the Remington adapter. The Remington adapter is a set of ports to connect the pacing pins to the generator. Turn on the generator, or the pacing box, to VVI80 with maximum milliamp output. Set sensitivity to asynchronous if available. Otherwise, pick the highest sensitivity number available. Turn the monitor's heart rate source to either the SPO2 or arterial line if available. Advance the wire to 20 centimeters, the two black lines, and inflate the balloon. Advance the pacer wire and watch the monitor for capture. Ensure there is mechanical capture after achieving electrical capture. Once capture has been achieved, deflate the balloon, secure the sheath with sutures, and obtain a 12-lead ECG and chest x-ray for confirmation.